I guess you get to see the underside there of what he looks like. Also missing two legs on this specimen, which I'm not too concerned about. And we're going to puncture him right here in the thorax. And he's pinned. One leg is frozen in the air. I'm not going to try. You can see this little bit on the abdomen moves. I'm going to bring that down. I'm not going to mess with him too much because we want him to obviously reattaching the abdomen, which I have done in the past, is not fun. And to keep that in the air and to make sure it stays and doesn't fall while he's pinned. Oh, let me put him back straight in. I do a little method that I came up with to keep the abdomen where it needs to be. Put one needle here, one needle here, and I just keep inserting them until I get the abdomen to the right height. There we go. And bring him down a little. And that's going to keep it straight up from falling down. And the last thing we're going to show you is what we did with the Girl Scouts. This is a clear jar that I picked up at the container store. You can put lip balms in here or anything you want. And it's a nice, clean, clear container. And so the young ladies had a choice of Japanese beetle or ladybugs. We gave them a real paper, 100% cotton label from my pinning kit. We had a volunteer cut them up and then one girl wrote JB for Japanese beetle. She couldn't quite fit it on there. And then we used insect glue, which is, believe it or not, plain old nail polish, clear nail polish, any brand. I also use this insect repair adhesive. It's clear nail polish, basically. And we just put a dot in the middle for the bug. They go ahead and put the bugs on and a dot for the paper. And I brought in a couple of different ladybug variety we had found on the Loyola Beach in Chicago. There's this Mexican ladybug. And then these two larger ones, their heads came off, so they were not selected. And then there's this ground beetle, also not selected. One young lady wanted to do a uh, wasp. Then Inez got the same idea, and so the wasp is here. And then we always recommend to the parents that they keep the lids on at all time because a fly will land and lay its eggs on it and you'll get maggots in the house and that's really gross and disgusting and we don't want that so keep the lid on nice and tight um, when the kids were little i would glue the lids on permanently because i didn't want them accidentally leaving it open so that's our little bug and we have more insects in here that i'm going to keep working on another um, mud dopper and there's another gra um, spider in there there's the spider right back here this is a spider and then i have this guy that a friend had given me that they had found at home this is a flying insect and i think it is a western conifer and then this is a beautiful white uh it's either a white cucumber butterfly but I think it's a moth. And the reason I think it's a moth is look at those huge black dots right here on the head, those black dots. They're eyes, and those are too big for the cucumber butterfly. So I think this is a moth. And we're gonna pin those as well. The moth gets very little handling because the white powder comes right off on your hands. So that's gonna be pinned with the tweezers. Thanks for watching.